Hey everybody, my name is Matt McMahon. My wife is New York Times best-selling author Lisa McMahon, who has written dozens of amazing books for kids and young adults. My daughter, Kennedy McMahon, is the actor who plays Nancy Drew on the CW Network series Nancy Drew. I also write middle grade fantasy adventure novels and am a personal development blogger at becomingyourself.net. In this video, I'm going to give you a tour of our home closet library and I'll highlight a couple of my favorites in each section and hopefully give you some great ideas for your next read. All right, so our library is literally in a closet, a closet library in our apartment in Sacramento. Fantastic use of space, in my opinion. There's a picture of our daughter I referenced earlier, actor Kennedy McMahon as Nancy Drew. And this piece of artwork here reflects one of my wife, Lisa McMahon's most popular series, the Unwanted series, which we'll talk more about in a little bit because she's written so many books, she has her own section. So yeah, you can get a little bit of a sense of the library here. This piece of artwork is done by our incredibly talented son, Killian McMahon, who is a freelance illustrator and graphic designer. So if you want to look at more of his stuff, it's at Killian McMahon Design or Great Raven Design Co. on Instagram. And these two pictures um, are actually original artwork that Lisa and I purchased um, from an auction to benefit the uh, survivors of Hurricane Sandy back in the day. And the picture of the priest and the ghost is from one of my favorite books as a kid. I think it was Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark. It was a collection of short scary stories which are with these wonderful illustrations, which I loved when I was a kid. And then this other picture is from a book called Creepy Carrots, which is a picture book for kids with the artwork by Peter Brown, which is uh, just super fun about a rabbit who is kind of haunted by these creepy carrots and the way they get their revenge on him. It's really cute, very fun. The first section of the library that I will highlight is, um, this is kind of our humor and entertainment section. It's pretty small to be honest, um, but my favorite book in this is of course the classic Indispensable Calvin and Hobbes by Bill Waterston. There's something amazing about Calvin and Hobbes. It always makes me laugh and think at the same time. So highly recommend that collection. And then moving on to uh, our biography and autobiography, the book I'm gonna highlight here is by Andre Agassi, Open. Um, if you're a tennis fan, it's great insight, not only into Andre's life, but into the world of professional tennis. So I love that book. Um, here is our section of adult nonfiction. A lot of great stuff here, but the one I wanted to highlight was um, Robert Fulgham's Words I Wish I Wrote, a collection of writing that inspired my ideas. You might have heard of Robert Fulgham from the book All I Really Needed to Learn, All I Really Needed to Know I Learned in Kindergarten, um, which is also great. But this is my favorite of his, where he uh, collects a lot of great quotes and works from other authors that highlighted his ideas. It's really wonderful. Um, there's also this wonderful book called The Little Book of Huga. You may have heard about Huga before in terms of a way of living and happiness. Um, Danish Secrets to Happy Living by Meek Weeking. I hope I pronounced that right. Um, it's really fascinating. Um, Dan Danish countries are typically at the top of happiness index surveys. And this book talks a little bit about why. So moving on, we've got a section here um, kind of on writing and creativity and writing craft. One of my favorites here is The Crossroads of Should and Must, Find and Follow Your Passion by El Luna. It's a really easy, colorful, graphic, heavy read, and it was really helpful for me when I made the decision to transition from a 26-year music career into writing full-time. Another book um, in this section that I'll quick hit is called Daily Rituals, How Artists Work by Mason Curry. It's fascinating. It, it just has short entries um, chronicling how um, an incredible array of artists from um, various disciplines spent their day. Really interesting stuff. 
Moving on here, we have our adult fiction section. And for me, I tend to go classics with adult fiction. So Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen is one of my all-time favorites. I'm also a big uh, Sherlock Holmes fan. So this um, collection of Sir Arthur Conan Doyle's um, works on Sherlock Holmes is a favorite of mine as well. Of course, you have Harry Potter, its own section. Um, moving over here to kids' picture books. So many great things here. The first one I'll highlight is called Miss Rumpheus by Barbara Cooney. Such a wonderful book. Um, talks about a woman who lived her life really well and gave back at the end of it and taught her niece to do the same. Beautiful story, gorgeous pictures. Moving on from there, um, this is kind of our religion, spirituality, philosophy section. A couple of books to highlight here. Um, one of my favorites is by Rob Bell called Love Wins, a book about heaven, hell, and the fate of every person who ever lived, which is pretty much what it's about. And I found it very thought-provoking and uh, very interesting and inspiring. And another book I'll pull from this section is called Walking with God by John Eldridge. This book did more for me to help me with my conversational intimacy with God than any other book that I'd ever read. So if that's something you're into, I highly recommend that book. So moving down to the bottom shelf, over here we have um, all of this is middle grade. Um, obviously, we're big middle grade fans. I'll start with this one. It's a fun book, Ollie Oxley and the Ghost by Lisa Schmid. She is actually a friend of mine, an incredible lady, and a very talented writer. It's a fun story about a boy who moves to the Southwest and becomes best friends with a ghost. And that best friend helps him um, discover a lost treasure to help with, uh, to save his mom's job. Very fun book. And moving on, let's see. Oh, this is a wonderful book, Where the Mountain Meets the Moon by Grace Lynn. It's the story of a young girl who goes on an adventure to save her, her Chinese village by working her way through um, a variety of Chinese folk tales and mythology. Really interesting, fun, quick read, and I learned so much about the Chinese culture and Chinese mythology. It's really fun. Then over here in um, Young Adult. Young Adult starts here. I loved um, Hunting Prince Dracula by Carrie Maniscalco. Always been a Dracula fan. And this was basically if Sherlock Holmes hunted Prince Dracula and Sherlock Holmes was a teenage girl. That's what this book is about. Super interesting and fun female protagonist. I really enjoyed this book. Um, this one was huge. A lot of people have heard of this one, Children of Blood and Bone by Tomi Adeyemi. Uh, it was huge a few years ago, especially. And I just never got around to reading it until now. So I'm almost done, as you can see. And to her credit, it holds up to the hype. She's a fantastic writer. I'm very impressed. Um, over here we have more of our contemporary young adult, and I'm just going to highlight a couple of authors, um, Tom Levine and Bill Koningsberg, who are actually dear friends, and they are incredible writers and incredible people, and if you like contemporary, realistic YA, all of their stuff is beautifully written. And then moving on from there, we have... My wife's section, Lisa McMahon, starting here and going all the way over to here. My wife has written all of these books, 25 and counting. Um, over here we have young adult paranormal thrillers. Probably her most famous of that is Wake. That's actually a reissued cover. Um, this is the story of a 17-year-old girl who gets sucked into other people's dreams which is such a fascinating premise, and uh, it just plays out so beautifully. My personal favorite of her YA is Crier's Cross, which is a creepy story, which tells uh, the tale of a small town where students begin to disappear and what happens to them. 
what she's probably most famous for in middle grade fantasy is her series The Unwanteds, which you can see Kirkus Reviews, a major reviewer, called The Hunger Games Meets Harry Potter, which is pretty accurate. And it's the story of a society in which at age 13, all children who have exhibited any type of creativity are sent to their deaths. But of course that doesn't actually happen and they are rescued and there is magic and mayhem and adventure and it's wonderful. It's an amazing book. And then of course over here, Harry Potter from page to screen has its own place of honor. Oh, this book weighs about 40 pounds and it's just an amazing book of how the movies were made from the books. So if you're a Harry Potter fan, hugely recommend that. Last but not least, in our floor section, we have thrillers, horror, adventure, kind of more adult books. Um, what I would recommend here is anything by Preston and Child, especially the Pendergast novels. In my opinion, he's one of the best protagonists in literature. And then also we have here Steve Alton's book, The Lock, which is a thriller about the Loch Ness Monster. And as a lifelong Loch Ness Monster fan, um, he was able to pull it off without it being cheesy, which is not easy to do. So I love that book. And then we go through fantasy, sci-fi, adventure, thrillers here. Um, actually, something that a lot of people don't know is that C.S. Lewis wrote a space trilogy, a sci-fi trilogy. That was fantastic. It's one of my favorite trilogies of all time about um, a man who is kidnapped and taken to Mars. And that's just book one. Fascinating stuff. Um, and then one of the greatest mysteries of all time, in my opinion, Agatha Christie, and then there were none. Um, about 10 people get invited to an isolated island and they start dying one by one. It's fascinating. And then I'll close with, as a Middle Earth Lord of the Rings fan, um, I love this book by Donato Giancola, which is uh, amazing Renaissance style art from the Lord of the Rings. I hope you enjoyed the tour. In future videos, I plan on doing deeper dives into each section, highlighting more of the books that I love. If you enjoyed the video, It'd really help me out if you click like and subscribe below. And until next time, thanks so much for watching and read well.